Hi folks, Irish Trekkie, back with another Star Trek, the official Starships Collection issue review, this time featuring issue 146. We have a classic ship from the original series, the Viserys. Correct me if I'm wrong in the pronunciation. I know you will in the comments. Have a little bit of fun if I did a really bad job at it. But um, yeah, this has been looked... F I, I, do you know what? I've been looking forward to this ship, um, even though it's kind of simplistic in design. And when my wife caught eyes on it, uh, when I got it, she's like, ooh, that's an interesting ship. She is a bit of a Trekkie, uh, more so for Star Trek Discovery. So I was interested in her um, initial feedback when uh, putting eyes on it. Now, I haven't opened this, so I'm curious to do that. But before we do, let's have a look and see what goodies lay inside the magazine, shall we? So nice, big, bold graphic at the front. Um, it's a flagship. Uh, in use, 2266, crew of one, diameter more than 1.6 kilometers. So she is a chunky monkey. Um, as regards to interior, oh, more of your swag. There we go, to the floor with you. Uh, four sections, the Viserys designing the ship, Matt Jeffries inside the USS Enterprise, and uh, on-screen appearances. So again, with it being a sphere, um, similar to probably the Borg, ish kind of uh, mount there as well we see how that plans out uh, close-up detailing here um operated by uh balak 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 crew of one um no other details affiliation first federation so <laughs> the puppet uh so uh, the Viserys was a gigantic ball-shaped vessel that was composed of smaller golden globes arranged in a diamond pattern over a black framework. At least some of these globes could detach from the ship and form a separate independent, op independently operated uh, pilot vessel as well. So, the First Federation Corbinite Maneuver. What a classic episode. Um, out of curiosity, Spock eventually managed to scan inside the Viserys and gain an image of an individual commanding it. The alien had a sinister and terrifying appearance, but it was merely a puppet. Balok allowed the Enterprise crew to think it was true image in order to frighten and intimidate them. How creepy. <laughs> Who dressed up? Has anyone ever cosplayed or dressed up uh, as this puppet over uh, a Halloween of the past? I'd be curious to know. Let me know in the comments just for a bit of fun. Um, again, some nice graphics there as well. So, um, do, 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 do. the size of Viserys was uh, so great that the Enterprise sensors could not accurately measure it. In fact, it was more uh, like a small planetoid. What? what 1.6 kilometers in diameter. It's, it's, listen, it's more than I could probably make in my back garden for sure. But galactically, it's not that big really. And uh, we've seen a lot bigger um, as the episodes go on. But, you know, for back in TOS, I thought it was pretty freaking big for sure. Um, you can see kind of scales. There's the, the small um, break off in the, the independently piloted uh, craft that broke off from the sphere, the Fetherius as well. Um, so again, the true pilot of a series here. There we go. Um, ship profile. There's no kind of hallmarks. There's no lines going. This is there. This is over here. It's pretty simple to be expected. Um, it remained a mystery in terms of the functions of all of its components. Uh, however, uh, or how it was powered and what abilities it possessed. So a very mysterious craft. All that could be said was that um, it emitted a huge energy reading. Um, it was equipped with a tractor beam and had at least the same... Um, what was it? It had at least some of the spherical cells that could detach... Okay, so they're talking about the detachable craft as well. So again, um, a very mysterious craft indeed, for sure. Um, designing the Viserys. So again, was was it? Is that was that part of the? I think it was actually. Yeah, designing the ship, Matt Jeffries. So again, pretty decent amount of material in this one so far. Um, designed by Matt Jeffries and built by uh, Wo Chang. Wa Wa Chang. Again, bad to pronounce names, but was given. Um, the subtle CG update in the remastered edition of uh, 2006. So you can see the kind of differences there as well. So pretty cool model back in the day. Um, nicely retouched in the uh, remastered um, TOS. I know some people prefer the original. I do really dig the uh, remastered uh, TOS episodes. Um, here we have inside. 
Um, I love again the detailing um, and some some uh, some might say simplistic look of uh, the TOS. But again, a lot of thought goes into them. Like when you look at like viewing angle of the crew, distance, you know, armrests, and um, how you know efficiently someone could work. So again, the naval design background and uh, all, all that stuff, just filtering through and all the concepts, and just again, you know, being the the person behind such an iconic show, and again, such an iconic design, you know, that just seeded so many generations of iterations. Um, fantastic, you know. Again, the monitors, the captain's um, table, and stuff like that. Again, sick bit. <laughs> I remember a few episodes of that was going on as well. So it's going to be a lot of goodies in there. I know not necessarily completely ship related in certain things. Again, there's props, um, but again, internals of ships and stuff like that as well. So again, a lot of good nuggets there to pass away a couple of, uh, I wouldn't say a couple of hours, but you know, pass away some of your evening or day reading through that magazine as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, so wrapping up on the magazine, a little teaser for next week. We have uh, Baron's Raider uh, from, again, another... Really fun um, TNG episode where, you know, uh, good old Picard and gets up to sort of some sort of shenanigans with his uh, number one, Mr. William Riker. So let's close off on the back graphic here and let's have a look at Viserys, shall we? All right. Let's get her out of her. Ooh, just comes right out. Not bad, not bad. Oh, man. Actually, we'll leave that in there for a second. Uh, 6560 A slash A. And we're going to have to get that big little ship out of there. I don't know where this is going to go on my stand. Uh, but we'll find a place. Uh, the base is centrally mounted, as you can see here. Um, nice nice little ergonomic stand for it. Let's throw that over there for the time being. And here we have the Viserys, everybody. How cool. Now, I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to stretch this out for like five, six, seven minutes. Um, or unless you want me to. But again, it's a simple enough design. The seam, obviously there will be, is nicely centered around the equator of it. And again, offset with some of the little uh, spheres that you can see here as well. So it just kind of breaks up that bow line across it. Um, I probably kind of mounted that at a bit of an angle to maybe hide that a little bit. Uh, you have your dark undercoat. And then you have some nice bright detailing for those little diamonds. Um, again, you can kind of see some of the yellow is bled over here as well. But that just gives a little bit of texture. Um, you can see there's some kind of diamond gridding just underneath those panels. But the paint application is quite good. There isn't really any paint bleed on the bulk of it. Um, there's a certain kind of yellowing over here as well, which isn't too bad. Um, it's kind of like, you know, maybe that's a little bit more luminescent and uh, bleeding into the underlying substructure of it. But it's pretty cool, to be honest with you. I do like it. And it's nice and sizable. Standing, I think I'd be, I, I think I'd put it maybe kind of like that or something along those lines. But uh, yeah, I'd be curious to know what you folks think. Let's have a look at comparing a ship. I almost lost my my ability to speak there. But let's compare it to a ship in the line just to kind of get a sense of scale, shall we? So why not? We haven't had the sphere out. Now we have two. We have a matching set almost. One maybe has a bit of an infection. The other one, you know, we, we, I'll leave that to you. <laughs> so you can see there's uh, almost symmetry in it. The sphere is that maybe a little bit bigger than it. Much heavier. Um... This is this is weighted, but plastic through and through. There's there's no there's no die cast on the outside of that at all. Um, but yeah, so that that's the Viserys. As I say, I'm not going to stretch it out too much. You can kind of get a sense of scale uh, alongside the um, Borg sphere there as well. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the ship and um, Eagle Moss's representation of it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, Baron's Raider coming up very very soon. And as always, listen. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thanks to all the Patreon supporters as well, uh, providing additional support to keep the channel uh, running and uh, expanding the possibilities of it as well. I've been your local Irish Trekkie and I will catch you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.